In this lesson, we're going to discuss the print functions of QCAT. I've loaded this file, flange.dxf, which came with the QCAD program. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to click on the print preview icon, and it shows the paper, which is white, behind the drawing. Notice we don't see the edges of the paper. So let's go up here on Edit, and under Drawing Preferences, let's choose what page we're using. They're using an ISO A4 drawing. So this is a metric-based drawing. All the dimensions are in millimeters. And that's what we're going to use to print these results. When we go back here, we're going to go up here and notice there, this is a toolbar for your print functions. Notice there's print preview and then there's all these tools associated with it. So right here we're going to auto fit the drawing to the page. You notice now we can see the paper. You see the paper? The paper has 10 millimeter borders. 10 millimeters is like 0.3937 inches, so it's about 0.4 inches of border on the paper. You can change that border. If you want to do a half inch border, if your printer doesn't print that close to the edges, you can change it to a half inch border with a 12.7 millimeter border edge. Most printers I know can print to within about 3 sixteenths of the edge of the paper. So you can change these borders. So how do you do that? Well, if we come up here under the Edit, Drawing Preferences, Moldy Pages, right here they call them glue margins. These are the glue margins, which are the borders. Those are the blue borders we saw earlier. Right now they're set to 10 millimeters, which I said was 0.3937 inches for those that work in the English units of measure. The next thing I want to discuss is the scale of this drawing. When we clicked on this button right here, we auto fit the drawing that made sure that none of the drawing exceeded any of the four borders. It scaled the drawing 1.484 times its normal size. And it put it all on one sheet of paper. Let's say we want a drawing that's two times its normal size. We come down here and if we go further down we can say 2 to 1 right here. Notice now it does not fit on the paper. Notice how the paper changed size to reflect its relationship to the drawing. The drawing is still fully viewable on this preview window. QCAT has an interesting function right here. It's called Auto Fit to Pages. So it's going to tell you how many pages you need to print this drawing. Notice it says there's four pages required. That's pretty excessive for such a drawing relationship. Over here we have the paper in landscape mode. We can easily switch it to portrait mode. Notice it still wants four pieces of paper. But you can move the paper with this little hand icon right here. We're going to move the paper around so the drawing fits on just two pieces of paper. Notice how that works out. So now we're going to fit the drawing to pages and it fits it on two pieces of paper. So notice QCAD takes care of you. He automatically develops the paper layouts that you need to get the job done. But you may need some positioning requirements to make that happen, and we already did that. We repositioned the paper to get it down to two sheets. So lots of things are possible when you're using this print preview. Even in this view, we can move the paper around a little bit if we want to adjust. Like, it'd be nice not to have the page breaks right on an object. So we can just move it over here. So now the page break is between the drawing entities. So we have to be precise when we attach the two pages together, if that's your goal. One thing you may notice is that the paper is off-centered from the viewing area because I wanted to have the page break not affecting any entity on the drawing. We also have the ability up here with this tool to auto-zoom the paper and the drawing in the center of the viewing area of the print preview window. 
before we actually print this page, you may want to consider your layer list. There may be things on this drawing that you don't need to print for this particular printout. For example, the centering dimensions. If we turn that off, you notice the red lines disappear, the centering lines. We turn them on, turn them off. The dimensions, I may not need the dimensions on the drawing. Then again, if you do, you just make them visible again. We can turn off these hatches if you don't want to use up a lot of ink when you're doing a preliminary drawing. If I get on the right one, hatches disappear. So we have lots of options before we actually do our printout. So always consider your layers, which layers you want viewable during the printout, and make them viewable and make the other layers non-viewable. Once we've done all this, we're ready to actually print the page to the printer. We come up here and we have a printer icon right here. And at this point, it's like any other Windows program. You select your printer, set up any preferences and all this stuff, and you go ahead and do your print function. And my printer is printing right now. Once the printer is finished, we want to see what happens. Once the printer is finished printing, nothing happens on this screen because it's still in the print preview mode here in the QCAD window. We also have the option of printing to a PDF file. So let's go ahead and do that. Export it to a PDF file, it says. So we click that, it asks where you want to place it. We'll place it right here. And now that it's finished, let's go back and see what the results were. Here we are looking at the uh, PDF file, and it is on two pages. It does have the division where we want it to be. Notice I have a little line slipped across my page boundary here. And that happened in the printout also. So the printout matches the PDF file and vice versa. When you're printing to a monochrome printer, such as a monochrome laser jet, the colors will be different shades of gray, and that can be a problem for you. And what you can do is you come up here, and you select black and white mode. That makes everything the same intensity. Or you can use your gray scales. Or if you have a color printer, you can select your color capabilities also. So this is like a filter to what gets sent to the printer. So it pre-filters what's going out there. My way to do it, I use black and white. That way all my lines are the same intensity and easily viewed. I use the layer list to get rid of things I don't want to be viewed to reduce confusion. Another tool of interest up here in the printer options toolbar is the drawing preferences shortcut. I've been coming up here and hitting edit drawing preferences to get there. We can also just use this icon right here. It takes you right directly there to the drawing preferences. Of course, once we're finished with the print preview, this will close the print preview. Now we're back to our normal viewing screen. We purposefully didn't address a couple of the tools in the print preview options toolbar. That's because we're going to go over those tools later when we use them in a different project, which will have a very large drawing, like 40 feet by 60 feet. And that changes lots of the perceptions here in the print preview, and we'll deal with those issues when we get to them. So this concludes the introductory lesson on how to print using QCAD.